from September 15th to October 15th, Hispanic Heritage Month acknowledges and appreciates and celebrates Latin and Hispanic cultures as well as their impact on the United States. Despite Hispanics and Latinos making up 20% of the population and Hispanic Heritage Month being a nationwide observance, as Taylor Gattoni reports, there are still a lot of people who don't know about it. Hispanic Heritage Month. It's a time when music, cuisine, and rich traditions intertwine. And it's a time to recognize Hispanic culture in the Independence Days of Spain, Mexico, the Caribbean, and South and Central America. But how much do you know about the origins of this celebration? It started back in 1967, 68, when a congressman from East LA presented a bill to have Hispanic Heritage Week. Why does it start September 15th and end October 15th? The reason for the selection of that date was that some Central American countries gained their independence in September 15th of 1821. And how exactly is it celebrated? People associate these events with music and dance and food. That's important, but I always emphasize that we need to look at other cultural manifestations such as poetry, painting. Like renowned painters Pablo Picasso, Salvador Dali, and Frida Kahlo. And Hollywood would not be the same without Antonio Banderas, Penelope Cruz, Rita Moreno, Salma Hayek, and Sofia Vergara. So let's celebrate how the Hispanic community continues to shape and enrich our country. I'm Taylor Gatoni reporting. And a fact you may not know, Spanish is the second most spoken language in the United States. Another fact, according to the Minority Veterans Report by the Department of Veterans Affairs, more than one million U.S. vets are of Hispanic or Latin descent. Turning now to the forecast, like you said earlier, 